Hey Practicum, it's Tom, and we are in week six. I can't believe it, we're moving along through Practicum. So I uh, just wanted to start off by taking a look at our schools for the week. Um, you guys are familiar with the Central, in Central Wisconsin Environmental Station. I just wanted to show you um, on Tuesday and Wednesday we are going to have the Adams Friendship School. That's not too far away. It's just down along the Wisconsin River, just um, east of the river. Not a very big community. Uh, I was looking up some information on them, and, you know, I don't know what's kind of cool about it is that much of the glaciers miss them, so they have kind of some nice rock formations in their area. So that is um, Adam's Friendship. And the other school that we're going to be have visiting on Thursday and Friday is Port Edwards, which is actually pretty close, uh, just a little farther north, right along the river, definitely uh, river school uh, in terms of, like, the paper community is really what... Um, thrives in that area. Uh, looking at some of the things on their website, you know, they there wasn't too much interesting to read about Port Edwards. They used to be called the White City because their homes were all painted white thanks to the paper mill that was there. So um, you can look up some more information on them in case you're interested. But I just wanted you to get an idea of what we're looking at here because uh, we've got schools that are pretty close and so they're going to you, know, you can see here that they're really not far from where Suez is, so uh, local schools. Let's look at the calendar. Tuesday, Adam's Friendship is going to bring about 60 7th graders out, and so we're going to divide them into five field groups for that day. And they're going to go through three activities, snowshoeing, survival strategies, and challenge course. So that'll be fun to get out on the challenge course this week, and it looks like um, Amy and Kate are going to be teaching that lesson on Tuesday. Uh, their philosophy is to have no child left inside, so really you want to focus on bringing those kids outdoors. We're going to arrive at 8.30 a.m. that day, too. Wednesday, we kind of see a repeat of the day, except they're bringing out a few less students, so there'll be about 50 students that day. Um, new students as well, 7th graders, and we'll go through the same lessons as well. So uh, we're going to arrive again out here at 8.30. And then on Thursday is when we're moving in the Port Edwards School. So now we've got 6th graders, there's only 26 of them, and they're going to go through our winter ecology program, basically winter lake study, survival strategies, um, winter severity, and uh, we're going to meet out here at 8 in the morning that day. Uh, the evening, Emily and Christine are coming out for the evening program, so you guys can coordinate. I think I have Emily driving that night, um, but we'll have an evening program for them. And then on Friday, Devin and Emily, you're going to be working with them. Oh, you guys get to team teach on, on Friday, which means that you can, as a team, submit one lesson prep. So you guys can decide how you want to work that out, uh, but you only have to submit one. Some of you may also see we have special guests this week. Uh, we have a lot of them. Uh, it's like the love boat or law and order or something. We have Sarah, who is a former practicum student. She's going to be teaching on Friday. She'll actually be out this Friday, and she'll come out next week Friday. Uh, next week Friday, she'll teach survival strategies. And some of you may have noticed that on Tuesday and Wednesday, we have someone named Megan on the schedule. That would be Megan Espy from Schmeekly. She's going to be coming out, and she's going to be observing survival strategies on uh, Tuesday and then teaching it all day on Wednesday uh, just because she wanted to get some you know some more teaching experience so it'll be great to have her out here that day uh, make sure to look closely at who you're submitting your lesson preps to so uh, I'm the lesson I'm the liaison for Wednesday but you're submitting them to Jenica and I think I had a special note about um, Friday Jenica is the practicum director but you're going to submit your lesson preps to me so that's that on uh, the schedule itself. If you have any questions, let me know. Your goal for the week, uh, for week six, this is the perfect time to talk about behavior management. We're going to be dealing with seventh graders and sixth graders too. Um, not that you're going to have a problem with behavior management, but I just want you to you know, go back, think about what it was like when you were in seventh grade. How did your friends act? How did you act? And you're going to try to be preventative with things. So we're going to be looking at behavior influence techniques. Uh, so on D2L, I put a list of all these different influence techniques, and I want you to take one of these, and I want you to write it into your lesson prep how you might use it. So um, antiseptic bouncing, you know, that's something where maybe you'll try to prevent um, anything from escalating, and you'll try to get that behavior stopped, either by giving the student something else to do or removing them from the situation. Um, there's a lot of fun things on here. I mean, these are all 
models of, of things that can be done in a classroom, but you can do these out in the outdoors too. So you might want to do proximity control. This is a real common one. You know, if you just go and stand near the student, that may be enough to kind of police them and keep them from doing something bad. Removal of seductive objects, that's one of my favorites. You know, if you have materials you know you're going to be handing out, think about when you're going to hand them out so that it doesn't become a distraction and they don't start playing with, the, with those um, materials. So, you know, there's a lot on here. I want you to pick one and think about what might be appropriate for either your 7th graders or for your 6th graders. For the driving schedule for the week, I'm going to have Hope drive everyone out on Tuesday. Megan's going to be driving herself out in the afternoon, and then there'll be an observer coming out too. So um, I will email her because I'm not sure if she wants a ride or not. So we'll find out about that. Uh, Jesse will drive on Wednesday. Um, Megan, if you want to drive out with the practicum students that day, that's fine. Uh, just let them know that you want to ride too. And Emily will, oops, I missed one here. Let's have Marie drive on Thursday morning, and then Emily will drive out on Thursday evening. Devin, you can drive Emily out on Friday morning then for the Friday programs. So let me know if you have any questions about that or what your goal is for the week. Otherwise, uh, I'm looking forward to both Adam's Friendship and Port Edwards. They've always been memorable um, schools out here, so I will talk to you soon.